Ito ang programang Bawal Ang Sikon. Get it straight with Daniel Rosson. Saan po natin, former Senator Nikki Coseteng, Diliman Preparatory School President and Philippine Swimming League's Honorary Chairperson. Um, na naupo na ba kayo together with uh, Pipingko Huangko, POC, Mark Joseph, NSA, PSC, uh, Richie Garcia? Opo. And what transpired? Ano ho bang napag-usapan? They all agree that we could join the competitions. However, up to now, they still don't let us join, number one. Number two... So, sa agreement ninyo, wala bang written yun? Wala po. Harap, ano usapan lang po namin okay. doon. So, tapos, number kasi, two? tapos, halimbawa, wala pong grassroots development program po kasi sila. Mm -hmm. Sa kanila, sa POC, yung pong pagpapadala na sa Olympics. Yes. Yeah, so, bago kayo makapagpadala sa Olympics, o kahit saan, magsisimula yan na training. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Halimbawa, Si uh, Ricky Palu from mm -hmm. Ateneo, mm -hmm. supposed to be sa Kazan, Russia, I invited Ricky Palu. Ateneo team, five pit po silang champion, five pit. Di sila na pinakamagaling sa Pilipinas, hindi ho ba? Nadalin ho namin. Sabi niya, hindi pwede kasi may klase. Okay lang. Nagdala kami ng mas uh, mahinang team galing sa Cebu. Kasi wala na kami time. Tsaka, uh, wala naman... Bawal na nga sa kanila sumama eh. Mm -hmm. Sa UAAP, saan ka pa mm -hmm. So, nagpadala kami sa Cebu. So, nila lait-lait kami na kulelat naman kasi yung aming mga basketball na pinadala. Paano po yun? <laughs> yung, yung pinapadala namin, yun na lang may kaya pumunta sa basketball, di ba? Mm -hmm. Kasi, yung inimita namin, ayaw naman i-allow. Mm -hmm. They're not they're prohibited. Mm -hmm. Completely prohibited from going with us to Russia at that time. So, natatalo. Kulelat kami. Very low ang standing. Eh, paano? 120 countries nga nandun eh, di ba? Mm -hmm. so, let's say, kahit na sabi mo pa, 20 countries. Kung sino yung mabibigat na kalaban. Mm -hmm. Pero, itong World University Games is a parang fellowship giving college students the opportunity to experience international competitions. Mm -hmm. Eh, sa kanila po kasi, the National Sports Association for Swimming under Mark Joseph, magpapadala sila sa SEA Games. Wala pong tryouts yan. Hindi kami pwede mag-tryout. Pinipili lang nila sino gusto nila padala. Even without tryouts? No tryouts po. Ngayon, halimbawa sa Olympics, binigyan ni Henwino, chairman ng PAGCOR, Si Mark Joseph ng 37 million yata, mga 37 or 34 million pesos to train athletes for the London Olympics. Mm -hmm. Eh, doon lang sa SEA Games, nakukulelat ka, pupunta ka pa sa London Olympics. Mm -hmm. So, the Philippines did not make the qualifying time of the Olympics. So, so you, are, you, can allow to, uh, you are allowed to send mm -mm. two, mm -mm. one male, one female. Mm -mm. Since hindi ka nag-qualify, mm -mm. pwede ka lang padala kung sumali ka sa FINA competition, sa swimming competition mm -hmm. international ng FINA sa Shanghai in 2011 para maka-qualify ka sa London Olympics. Mm -hmm. Doon sa, sa Shanghai competition, dalawa lang ang pinadala niya eh. One male, one female. So pagbalik ng dalawa, sila na lang ang pwede pumunta ng Olympics. Mm -hmm. So it is unfair not only to my swimmers, Mm -hmm. It is also unfair to the other members of the national team. Why? Because they were never given the chance. Dapat, pinadala mo yung buong national team. Kung 20 swimmers yan, 40 swimmers, padala mo yan sa Shanghai. It looks like malaking pera pinag-uusapan dito. Dahil parang, ba bakit nagkakaganyan-ganyan? Ma malaki bang pera ang involved talaga na... Parang kinikita. Kayo ba kumikita ba dito, Senator? Wala po silang binibigay sa amin kahit na piso para sa training ng mga bata. Support na sa amin. Hinihingi nga ho lang namin sa PSC yung travel tax exemption tsaka yung airport tax. Dahil yung mga ibang bata galing yung public school yan eh. Uh Oo. -oh. So wala, hinihingi, walang, ayaw walang ibigay. budget na galing sa gobyerno papunta sa inyo? Nagbibigay halimbawa si Buddy Andrada. Pinsan niya mm -hmm. nagbigay 25 mil. Dahil meron siyang allocation na pera, yun lang ang binigay niya sa amin, eh, binabalik, binabayad naman namin sa Rizal Memorial yung pera na yun eh. Mm -hmm. 
Hindi na ba kami nakaka-swimming ng libre doon eh? So, sa, P uh, sa PSC, wala kayo nakakuha ang support? Na Meron pera. kami nakuha minsan kay Richie Garcia dahil we had a competition. I don't know, I can't remember where it was. Mm -hmm. I think he must have given us 100,000. Mm -hmm. Since 2010, mm -hmm. mga ganyang klaseng pera. Pero hindi kami regular na nabibigyan. For the training, On a regular basis we have training. 365 days a year training. Mm -hmm. We have 24 Minimum 24 competitions every year. Mm -mm. In fact, I think today, oh no, last Saturday or Sunday, we had competition again. Mm -hmm. We have seven competitions internationally. Wala ko sila naman binibigay. Kasi Bini ang, ang PSC ngayon, uh, na-approve sila for the 2015 ng about 186 million pesos na budget, di ba? More than that. Because the PSC is supposed to get 5% of what Pagcor makes. Okay. That's a, a so, billion or so. So, wala kayong pinapakinabang dito, Senator. Bakit, wala po. Bakit hindi nyo pa tinatantanan? Ba't pabayaan nyo na lang sila para sila na lang magkagukagulo? Kawawa po yung mga bata. Yung mm -hmm. nagsimula sa amin, three years old. Mm -hmm. E di, ngayon ba, now, he must be seven or eight? Mm -hmm. Napakagaling na po eh. E si Kayla Sugilon nga, taga-aklan. Eh, problema naman kung Panalo naman... siya ng Junior Athlete of the Year. Oh. And the Philippine Sports Writers Association recognized she is not a member of the national pool, the national team, or trained by the national team. She's from Aklan, the daughter of Kokoy and Vicky Sugilon. But, but she was recognized as the outstanding. Pero uh, what, what, what future will it bring her kung uh, hindi naman nga nakakalaro? Iyan ang kawawa. Uh -huh. Kasi si Denji Lee Cordero, nakapasok ng UP, wala namang upkat, ang UP, ay champion ng swimming. Mm -hmm. Mismo NU. Pinapakiusap sa amin, mag-training kami para sa NU. Mm -hmm. Meron na kami. Eight girls and eight boys. Mm -hmm. uh, para sa National University for next, this coming school year. Mm -hmm. Hindi naman masama yung ginagawa namin eh. So, ang, di, ang, ang pwede nyo gawin is mag-train kayo, tapos bigay nyo na lang sa kanila. Hindi, you can't do that. Hindi nila tatanggapin. Ah, basta kayong nag-training, hindi nila tatanggapin. Kamukha si Deji Lee Cordero. She's the record holder for, I think it's butterfly or breaststroke. I'm not even sure anymore. Uh -huh. Eh, sinabi, allegedly, allegedly, sinabi daw ni Mark Joseph sa tatay niya na, kukunin ko yan kung gagapag ka magmula doon sa gate pinto hanggang sa kubeta. Sabi ko sa tatay niya, kung yun ang condition, wag mo na pasama yung anak mo. Meron ka naman dignidad eh. You have dignity, you have a sense of pride in your daughter. Why should you crawl and grovel on the ground mm. just for your daughter to get into the national team? That's crazy. Her time, her record should be more than enough. But, but what good will it do now to you kung ganyan ang nagiging situation? Well, masaya po ako dahil lahat ng salihan namin tournament. South Africa, I think we had 12 gold medals, several dozen silver and bronze medals. I lost count already eh. Mm -mm. In Thailand, we were the defending champions last November. Ayaw kami bigyan ng travel tax exemption. So why don't you just do it yourself? Nang ano? Kasi kung ayaw nila, di wag. It's not your, it's That's not what we your do. loss. Di ba? We do it. Na nila yan. We do it. We train the kids. We support the coaches. We, we join foreign competitions. Mm -mm. And we bring home sacks. Sako-sako na medalya. Mm -hmm. Hindi po kami sumasali sa competition na kukulelat kami. Mm -hmm. Sabi nila, kasi yung competition niya, pambata lang yun eh, kaya kayo magaling. Bakit? Sila ba nagpapadala? Wala. Mm -hmm. Sila ba nakakatasan yung batang na train nila? Mm -hmm. so, and and tinatakot nila, pag sumama kayo dyan sa grupo na yan, kay Koseteng, kay Susan Papa, we will not take you to the Sea Games. What? Mm -hmm. How many did they send to the SEA Games? Three? There must be 3,000 swimmers in the Philippines. Tatlo lang pinadala nila eh. Di pa nga makarelay kasi apat kailangan eh. Mm -hmm. oh. So, ito yung sa NSA? Yeah. Yung kay, kay Mark Joseph? Yes. So, ano bang ano nyo? Ano nakikita ba? Yung, yung nakakatawa ka dyan, sabi nga ng mga ibang swimmer namin, Ma'am, bakit po yung mga, naku, yung mga nakukulelat may allowance na, na, may allowance na tinatanggap? Kami... Nagbe-medal kami eh. Mm -hmm. Bakit kahit na travel tax exemption, wala kami nakukuha? But as, as a former senator, ano nakikita ninyo na ano dito? 
na pwedeng point na uh, maging legislation para at least matulungan yung mga... Kasi the way I see it, parang ang nagsasuffer ngayon din ay yung representation natin sa Pilipinas. Of course. I mean, if we can't be well represented, then ang mangyayari niyan, lagi tayong mangungulela sa international competition. And if you're going to do that naman ng on your own and privately, parang hindi naman marirecognize sila as national uh, athletes. Hindi marami yung ganun. Marami ganun iba. Halimbawa yung Dragon Boat, mm -mm. nananalo ng medalya yun. Mm -mm. Gold medal, silver medal. Mm -mm. Eh, nagbibenta nga sila ng tahong para makakain eh. Mm -hmm. So, uh, may kailangan bang batas dito? O may alam ba kayong batas na dapat? There is a batas uh -oh. for the Philippine Sports Commission na sila ang dapat magasiwa. Mm -hmm. Dapat huwag nila itolerate ito. Eh, sabi ko nga kanina, sinasampal na sa mukha yung si Richie Garcia ng isang mistulang NSA president. Mm -hmm. Nakulelat naman lagi yung kanyang NSA. Mm -hmm. Tapos, walang magawa yung chairman ng Philippine Sports Commission. Sabi nila, pag meron daw siyang gagawin eh, government intervention. Eh, sa government kumukuha ng pera yun eh. Hindi ba under ito ng Office of the President? Uh, saan ba ilalim ng, ano ba nakakasakop ngayon na uh, mas mataas na ahensya sa Philippine... Uh, the highest governing body for sports uh -oh. is the Philippine Sports Commission. So sila na yon. Nakikipag-usap kami dyan dati. Minsan, bibigyan ka ng tax exemption. Sasabihin sa'yo, ma'am, tawagan mo lang si chairman. Okay naman yun, malakas ka naman dun eh. Itatawagan mo. O Richie, aalis kami. Alam nyo, hindi dapat ganyan ang patakaran. Dapat, hindi na pakisamahan, pakiusapan. Kung maganda yung mood nila, okay. Kung masama yung kanilang dating, uh, masama yung kanilang timpla that day, sorry. So, pupunta kami sa Thailand, kumihingi kami ng travel tax exemption. Sabi ba nung isang pliado, pupunta kay Iggy Clavesilia, commissioner, yung aming staff. Ito po letter ni Senator Cosetek, ito yung pupunta sa Thailand. Mm -hmm. Sabi nung babae doon taga PSC, di ko, ah, dito halimbawa si Gia, yung staff namin, at dyan si commissioner, di ba? Nagpagit na siya, at sinabi doon sa commissioner, wag mo bigyan, wag mo bigyan. Hindi kami binigyan. Mm -hmm. E ba, Philippine Sports Commission, sa kumpas lang nung empleyado, hindi bibigyan kami ng travel tax, exemption. Yung dati, a few, a few months before, nabigyan naman kami. Mm. So, bakit very, very arbitrary, uh, depende sa pakiramdam? Mm -hmm. So, wala pa ba kayong binibigay? Hindi nyo pa ba ito iniaakyat ngayon sa ibang authority? Sa ombudsman po. So, may reklamo kayo sa ombudsman? Opo. Kanino po? Sino ang nireklamo niyo sa ombudsman? Sa PSC. So, si, uh, specifically, si Richie Garcia? The whole board. The whole the board. Whole, uh, yeah, the whole board. Headed kasi, by Richie Garcia. Yes, because I hope that the ombudsman, and I like to thank the ombudsman, because last December, yung kaso namin against Mark Joseph and Efren Henwino, inakyat po ng ombudsman sa Sandigan Bayan. Mm -hmm. Ito pong uh, demanda, ngayon, hinain namin ito bago. bago. Kailan It, po itong bago niyo? December yun? lang po. December, okay. Yeah. So, pinasasagot na niya. So, ombudsman din ito, pinasasagot Opo. na ngayon ang PSC Opo. para malaman yung ano. So, ano ang inyong uh, uh, pakipag-ugnayan sa presidente? Meron ba? Kung me uh, meron ba? Wala po. Hindi ko namin sinasali yung presidente rito. So, hindi kayo nagbigay ng appeal sa kanila na para to at least eh, medyo maki makialam dun sa nagiging sigalot ng ganito. Kasi, of course, concern din natin yan at concern yes. din ng presidente yan na uh, maging maayos yung delega de 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 delegates natin. At magiging problema po ito nationwide. Exactly. Dahil, kalimbawa, sabihin na lang natin yung malilit na skwelaan, ganun din ang nangyayari. Kung may competition kami sa Legazpi City, sasabihin nyo may ibang skwela, hindi kayo pwede sumali. Sasabihin sa estudyante nila, hindi mm. po kayo sasali dyan. Mm -hmm. May competition, liba, sa Olonga po, sa Lucena, kung saan kami magko-competition. Sasabihan po nila, ibang some schools will tell their students, like Ateneo, for example. I use this as an example because Ricky Palu is my very good friend. Mm -hmm. And for the Russia University Games, sabi ni Ricky, oh, meron pala ganyan. Pwede ba sumali ang Ateneo? doon sa mga competition nyo. Sabi ko, oh, bakit hindi? It's open to all. 
Pero ang coach ng Ateneo, hindi ka papasalihin. Mm-hmm. Tinatakot niya yung mga players eh. Yung mga swimmers eh. Mm-hmm. So, on the day na sinabi ni Ricky Palu sa kanyang coach, magpadala ng swimmers sa Rizal Memorial, mm-hmm. sa swim cup competition, nagpunta siya doon. Mm-hmm. Sabi niya, nasa yung mga swimmers namin? Sabi ko, hindi ko alam. Walang nagpunta rito kahit isa. Ay, hindi. May nagpunta rito, isa lang. Mm-hmm. So, tinawag ko yung bata. Ang sabi ng bata, Sir, please don't tell my coach that I joined this competition mm-hmm. because he's going to remove me from the varsity team and I might lose my scholarship. Mm-hmm. All right. So, so, ibig sabihin, yung coaches mismo, binubuli yung mga bata na huwag kayong sasali dyan mm-hmm. kasi yung mga coach na yan, rekomendado yan ni Matt Joseph na pumasok doon sa kanya-kanyang mga eskwela. Kaya kamukha sabi ngayon, Las Aldas Marinas. Mm-hmm. Meron kami mga isasama sa university sa World University Games. Pero De La Salle University, Taft Avenue, wala. Kung meron kayong mga questions na gusto nyong ipasagot kay Richie Garcia, kay Mark Joseph, <coughs> kay uh, Pipingko Huangko ng POC, what are these questions that you want them to answer? Number one, democratize Philippine sports. Make your tryouts open to all. Number one. Number two, remove non-performing NSA heads and coaches. For swimming alone, you have already had several decades no, mm-hmm. of non-performance. And your coach is still the same. Mm-hmm. That's number two. Number three, support grassroots development. That's the mandate of the PSC. To support grassroots development and Senator Pia Cayetano uh, asked in the Senate budget hearing for the PSC budget, Do, does the PSC have a grassroots development program? They answered, yes. What is the PSC uh, grassroots development program? Sabi niya, well, we have Pinoy Games, Philippine National Games. That's not a program. That's a competition. We have 24 competitions a year. And ang ginagawa po nila, kasi our competitions are announced ahead of time. December pa lang, ina-announce na namin next year, ano yung competition. Kasi yung mga parents, nagsisave yan eh. Galing sa Rigao, hindi kami sasali sa Legaspi, hindi kami sasali sa Iloilo, pero sasali kami dun sa Manila. Hindi kami sasali, yung mga taga Tugigaraw, taga Baguio, Hindi kami sasali doon sa Davao, pero sasali kami kung Legaspi kasi mm-hmm. pwede kami mag-bus. So, napoprogram ng mga parents yan. Saan sila sasali? Mm-hmm. Pupunta kami sa Thailand? O kaya sa Perth, Australia? Mm-hmm. Ngayong Holy Week, we are competing in Perth, Australia. Mm-hmm. You see? So, because they know ahead of time, ang gagawin ng NSA, kung kailan yung competition namin, sasabayan nila yan. Pero the whole year, wala silang kalendar. Mm-hmm. Two, three weeks before, mag a sila, oh, we have a competition here and there. Kasi may competition kami doon, sasabayan nila para walang sumali. Mm. Minsan nga, sa NSA competition, 75 lang ang sumasali. Sa amin, 450. Minsan, 500. Sumasali na bata sa competition namin. Hindi sila din ang talo. Eh, sila may pera eh. Uh, so, so, so these are the questions that you want to be answered. Yeah, that and, it should be open to all. Mm-hmm. And, and, grassroots development program, dapat yan talaga, 365 days, tinutulak nyo yung mga bata para maging motivated, para maging inspired, maging magaling. Mm-hmm. No? Tapos, yung mga ginagawa na ng ibang tao, huwag nyo na pakialaman. So, yung mga nagpapatrain naman sa inyo, uh, libre naman silang lumipat sa NSA? Hindi ho sila pwede. Uh-huh. May Dahil rules po sila NSA. Ang, na paggaling sa inyo. Opo, at meron silang rules. Kasi ang mga coaches ng NSA, nagbabayad sa NSA yun eh. Nag, I think 8,000 every year. Mm-hmm. Pag kayo ay pool of coaches of the NSA, ang gusto nila mangyari, you are not allowed to teach anybody that is not an NSA member. Mm-hmm. Bawat member kasi dapat magbayad ng 400 pesos yata. Mm-hmm. I'm not even sure now what the amount is. Mm-hmm. 
No, eh, parang ano na, parang ano na lang din yan, pa, negosyo, laban sa negosyo. Kasi nung nagsimula po ako, sa kanila po ako humingi ng coach mm -hmm. sa NSA, kasi mm -hmm. wala naman ako kilala mm -hmm. for our school, Diliman Preparatory School. Mm -hmm. Nabalitaan ko, bawal po kami mag-swimming sa Rizal Memorial at sa Ultra. So ginawa ko, nagtayo ako sa sariling swimming pool doon sa eskwela namin. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the only thing that you can do now, para magsarili na lang talaga. Para Because, magdala ng sariling Yeah, when we have competitions... Athletes. When we have competitions in the uh, Rizal Memorial, we still have to pay. Mm. I think it's twenty-five or thirty-five thousand per day. If the president is watching us now, what would you like to tell the president? Yung po, sa sabi ko po, na hindi ba katarungan yung ginagawa niyo sa atleta? At alam niyo, ang dami-dami magagaling na atleta, umaayaw na lang. Number three, kahihiyan po na Pilipinas ang nangyayari po sa sports. Kahihiyan po sa Russia, Tatlong tao pinadala yata ng POC at UAAP. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ontiveros, taga POC. Mr. Ricky Palu, and I can't remember the third guy. Nagpunta sila doon at sinabi po nila, kami ang representative ng Philippines. Mabuti lang ang abogado namin si Luz Arzaga Mendoza. Mm -hmm. Sabi niya, yung tatlong yan, taga UAAP, eto ang sulat ng UAAP, prohibiting students of the UAAP schools from coming to Russia with FESAP, which is the duly accredited organization of the FISU. And now they are representing themselves, representing the Philippines. Sabi ng FISU, sa tatlong yun, umalis kayo dito, hindi kayo, hindi kayo ang representative. Kami ang representative. How would you like the president to act on this? Well, I don't really know if the president uh, would like to, but I hope he does. But he can do everything that he can do to stop all these shenanigans. Because the NSAs, they're actually a private entity. But it's, it's like in the case of swimming, sasabihin nila may eleksyon, pagkatapos, ngayon, ngayon ang eleksyon, kahapon sasabihin sa Cebu pala. So lahat yung mga boboto na doon sa office ng swimming, yung palang eleksyon na sa Cebu. <laughs> na inailigaw. <laughs> Liniligaw nila. Mm -hmm. So I hope that the president acts on it because Nowadays, sports is the gate pass of our young people to a college degree. Nagpipiratahan mm. sila, nag-aaway-aaway sila, laki, binibigyan na ng tirahan, binibigyan ng kotse, mm. binibigyan ng scholarship. Mm. Ha? Pero sa tingin nyo ba, makikialam ang presidente dyan considering na masasangkot din si Piping Kuhuanko ng POC? Well, why not? If it involves the youth of our country, many of us who are volunteers, who are doing this without government support, and scrape the bottom of our pockets. We have friends who help us. And hanggang kailan? Alam mo, sinasabi pa nga nila sa amin, yan mo yan mga yan. Uh, hanggang this year na lang yan. Wala naman ibubuga yan eh. Hmm. Mabuti na lang meron kami mga kaibigan na naniniwala sa amin. Hmm. Na magpapadala sa amin. Ang depresya, last year nga, uh, two years ago, nakabili na kami ng ticket. You know, hindi pa nakasali. Hindi pa papasalihin. Hmm. So, Why is this a punishment for us when we're, all we try to do is just develop swimmers? And you can say that about cycling, you can say that about billiards, you can say that about other sports where the National Sports Association has ceased to become even relevant. Oh, we wish you good luck, ma'am, and we, we hope na yung mga nakarinig and uh, I also I will be inviting yung mga binigyan nyo ng katanungan to explain all of this. Sana things. po, sama-sama kami sa isang programa. Well, kasi we will do mahirap that. Mahirap po yung ganyan. Exactly. May sasabihin ako, sasabihin nila iba. No? Mm. Sasabihin nila, the International Federation says this and that. That's up to us. It, to manage our own matters. Mm. We will, oh, we'll man. ask them to sit down in, sa political watch po natin. Maraming salamat, ma'am. Thank you so for, much. For the because it informs the whole world about what's happening. Thank salamat you. po. Uh, Diliman Preparatory School President and the Philippine Swimming League's Honorary Chairperson, former Senator Nikki Cosetting. Dito lang po sa programang Bawal Ang Pikon. Get it straight with Daniel Razon.